the itching, the scratching, the, the, the horror. Here's how to survive a lice infestation. Lice are something we might associate with little kids, but the little buggers do not discriminate. They'll set up shop anywhere they can find a warm home. Can they jump from one head to another? How can you kill them? How can they kill you? Contrary to popular belief, lice cannot jump from one head to another, but these wingless creatures can crawl from victim to victim. They can even hitch a ride on things like brushes, combs, rubber bands, and hats. So if you don't want to fall victim to this tiny little pest, follow these steps. Step one, prepare for battle. Head to the pharmacy and grab the best lice medication they have. Buy a small toothed comb, something that you won't mind tossing out after the battle. It's even better if the lice treatment kit has a small comb with fine metal teeth set close together. Lice eggs, or nits, are laid 0.63 centimeters from a person's scalp, and these insects use a thick but transparent, sticky, glue-like substance to attach themselves, so lice will not come off without a fight. Now it's time to assess the situation as the clock is ticking. A female louse can lay up to 10 eggs per day, and each egg hatches into a nymph within 7 to 10 days. These are adolescent lice, so inspect the scalp and look for little white bumps close to the hair's roots. At this point, you might want to scream or throw up, but don't. There's work to be done. Grab the medication you just purchased, put on some gloves, and maybe don an N95 mask handy because the smells you're about to experience are pretty intense. Step two, lock and load. Now that you're all prepared, it's time to go in. Carefully, slowly, and deliberately comb through the hair. Apply the medication and run the very fine toothed comb through every bit of hair on the scalp. Dunk the comb in very hot water before reapplying the medicine. Remember, these little bloodsuckers won't live long if you separate them from their food source. But they can hold their breath for up to eight hours, and unfortunately, they are incredibly skilled at hanging on. Their bodies have short legs with really grippy claws at the end that can clench to a shaft of hair in a shower, a pool, or even powerful winds. The CDC warns people not to use combination shampoo and conditioner or conditioner before using lice medicine and don't wash the hair for one to two days after removing the lice medicine. <laughs> and lice are more than annoying and gross little insects. Do you know they can kill? In early May 2021 in Indiana, U.S. mother was arrested and charged with neglect when her four-year-old daughter nearly died of a lice infestation. The Department of Child Services notified police that the little girl was in the hospital due to a severe lice infestation. Her blood levels were a fraction of what they should have been because lice were feeding off her blood for so long. Sadly, in Georgia, another little girl wasn't so lucky. She suffered a lice infestation that might have lasted up to six years. Eventually, she became severely anemic and died from cardiac arrest, and her parents could face second-degree murder charges for her death. I know these stories are extreme, but it's important to know the potential dangers. And your battle isn't over yet. So take a deep breath. Step three, keep calm and wash on. Once you have checked, treated, and cleaned all the hair, load up the laundry. Wash all the bedding by the people who have lice and their bedmates using the hot water cycle at 54 degrees Celsius and the high heat drying cycle. If a couple of lice are still clinging to life, the heat should kill them. The CDC recommends vacuuming the floor and furniture, especially where the person with lice sat or laid, but you don't need to use fumigating sprays. Step four, the call of shame. This may not be easy to do, but it's the responsible thing. Let anyone who might've had close contact with the contaminated person know about the lice. It's okay, it's not a big deal. An estimated 6 to 12 million infestations occur in the United States alone each year. Step 5. Back Check After using the medicine, re-examine the scalp in 8 to 12 hours. If you see small white bugs, but they're not moving, sit tight. If they're still moving, call your doctor and ask for help. 
you might need a prescription because some lice are resistant to the medicine and over-the-counter treatments. Keep checking the hair every two to three days for the next two or three weeks. Being caught unprepared and unaware once will be enough to encourage better cleaning habits. Just remember to soak all those combs and brushes in hot water at least 54 degrees Celsius for five to 10 minutes. Finally, the worst is over. Or is it? What just crawled behind the fridge? Oh no, you've got cockroaches. Don't worry, we've got the perfect video for you. To be prepared and stay alive, keep watching How to Survive.